Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Now I'd like to apologise because it's been two weeks since I feel like I'm going to say since my last confessional, since my last uh, recording for this podcast, the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, and my aim is to be a bit more on time from now on, (laughs) and I think I've said this before, but I do mean it. Now, this recording is going to be two versions, one with, one without music. The one with music is uh, the background music by Kevin MacLeod, and the details of him and where you can find more of his great music will be in the description, including his website. Uh, the, The music one will be about well, it will be two hours long. And this recording, as always, is going to be not just sleeping, but also relaxation. Also relaxation. So if, for whatever reason, you're listening to this, solely to relax and you have other things to do once you've relaxed you know after that then may I suggest that you set an alarm to wake you up because you may find that you drift and become more sleepy And part of the reason for that isn't necessarily due to how, uh, or what I'm saying, but maybe just because I sound boring. That's, (laughs) that's my little trick. I'm a one trick pony, don't you know? The thing is, all sleep recordings depend upon relaxation first because in order to fall asleep usually you need to feel relaxed I say usually because there have been times there have been times when I've been so tired I've fallen asleep instantly and I didn't feel relaxed beforehand so I don't think that there's any rule, but I would say for those people that maybe in the past were having a, you know, maybe insomnia, being able to relax will, if nothing else, it calms your mind down. Uh, no, perhaps I'm a little bit fixated on this aspect of insomnia. But this is something that I've been told by many people over the years. That the main thing that, you know, they feel gets in the way with them just... If you relaxing deeply and just drifting into a, a natural sleep naturally is or has been in the past an overactive mind and you know 
let's be real for a minute. You know, it's understandable sometimes to have an overactive mind if stuff's going on, you know. If somebody's got a loved one in hospital or maybe they've got their own medical issues. Um, and I'll be honest, if I was about to go into hospital to have a major operation tomorrow... I don't probably imagine I wouldn't get much sleep tonight. But then... I don't know. I'll probably get a little bit. But I wouldn't feel so bad because, you know, I'm going to spend the next few days in bed. So I wouldn't, you know, I'm not that worried about that. So... When you give yourself permission to sort of turn off your mind, you're not saying to yourself that those things aren't important. Because a lot of the things that you may be thinking about may well be very important to you. There may be times when what you're thinking about is completely irrelevant yet the thoughts are there and you want them gone so that you can just relax and sleep but I don't want to just completely discount the importance of some of the things that we may be thinking about However, when you let those thoughts go, you're not saying that you don't care. You're not saying that that stuff is not important. All you're saying is that you just want to go to sleep. You want to relax. You want to let go. And you want to sleep because you need to sleep and you'll be so much more emotionally able to deal with tomorrow if you have some nice sleep tonight So much able to deal with whatever comes your way, whatever you need to have to face tomorrow, will just be that much easier emotionally when you've had some sleep. And sometimes it's not even just about the sleep. It's about relaxing. It's about being able to just let go and relax. And for some people, when they very first start to learn to relax, it can feel very, very weird. You know, for someone that's spent years with a tense stomach, with muscles, always tensing their muscles in their shoulders or in the back of the neck, or maybe always got a, like a jaw that's almost concrete, it's like, without even realising it, without noticing that actually every part of your body can relax. You know, you, you may walk around holding your stomach in for various different reasons. Maybe because you like the muscles, you might like to show them off, you might just want to you know, pretend you're slimmer than you are. That's me, that is. 
although I don't bother trying to hold my stomach in, no one's that strong. I have to rely on really strong trousers. Although I did rip my trousers the other day. I bent over to pick up some dog poo from the dog I was walking. It wasn't some it wasn't some random dog. That would be really weird. And the whole of my trousers, the back part just ripped right open. Which is irrelevant really to what we're talking about, but I thought I'd like to share it. And also to remind you that this doesn't have to be serious. I'm not a yogi. You know, I'm not... You don't have to be a different person when you relax. It's not like going to yoga and you... Namaste, namaste. There's no ceremony, there's no bowing. None of that stuff. It's just relaxing. It's like meditation. It's brilliant. It's so good. But a lot of people would be put off by the religious undertones of meditation when it doesn't need that. It's got nothing to do with religion. It was around long before religion ever was. It's a way to relax. It's a way to calm your mind. And there's loads of benefits to you. Because It changes. So it's the more you naturally relax and the more often you listen to me, you start to find that you you react less to stuff that happens during the day. So, for example, someone says something that you're not particularly fond of what they've just said. Maybe you just don't like the person. And instead of reacting, you start to notice that there's there's a gap. There's a bit of space where you can stop. You don't have to do anything. You never did. But now you see that gap. Now you notice it. You feel it. You're aware of it. It's with you. That gap is with you. And in that gap is quietness. Stillness. Deep relaxation. And it changes how you feel. So the more relaxed you are, the more often you relax. That gap becomes bigger between you and your reactions. To start with, of course, you could just jump over the gap easily. Ignore it for a while. Or you can tread through it. And you can feel relaxed. And you deal with that situation in a relaxed way. And the more relaxed you are during the day, the easier you sleep at night. Because there's less to think about. You know, if you're reacting less, you're going to have less regrets less things to think about when you're lying in bed less of the old uh, oh I wish I hadn't said that thoughts perhaps I shouldn't have done that oh and we all we all do things that we regret 
I'm constantly doing stuff that I wish I hadn't done or said and all I try and do is promise myself that I'll do better next time none of it's big none of it's really horrible or bad stuff but it's you know it's uncomfortable it's something that I do I would think about whilst lying in bed so here's a little trick think about it before you go to bed Spend 10, 15 minutes, maybe a few hours before going to bed, maybe whilst drinking a cup of tea or coffee or, you know, obviously not too close to bedtime for that stuff, but just a little bit of space for you where you can just close your eyes maybe or just have your eyes open. Maybe you can do it while you stroke your kitten or pet your dog. Squeeze your squirrel. I don't know what people do. And go over, you know, some of the stuff that you said and done throughout the day that maybe it could have been a bit different. And maybe next time it will be different when you notice that gap, that gap of relaxation and one of the benefits of that is if you do it earlier on when it comes time to go to bed it's done just in the same way as you don't brush your teeth when you're actually in bed I'm guessing you do it in the bathroom you do it before you go to bed you don't you know, get into bed and start cooking your dinner you know you did that earlier you don't just lay down in bed and urinate you know it's all done you do those things before you go to bed so thinking about the day pondering just with an open mind with an open mind and you can just rest in this sense of comfort and relaxation and enjoy it enjoy just it feels nice you know it actually feels nice you don't need to do anything you can just but you don't even need to go through things you're not going to don't have to write it down on a piece of paper and you don't have to write a poem about it unless you choose to it gives you that space to just let go Forgive yourself for anything that you may have done. Remembering to learn from what's happened. Not just the things that maybe were problematic, but also from the nice things, the positive things. This is a chance for you to remember the good things that happened during the day. The nice feelings that you experienced perhaps you felt really good physically and emotionally for no reason what's that about and those those types of feelings feeling really good it's all almost like a not so much an adrenaline rush as almost a kind of a, a high of but a natural 
like a, a feeling of love, a feeling of interest, a feeling of just feeling really, really good physically and emotionally happy and you could just give it the word happy feeling happy and some people listening to this may may have felt that that word doesn't resonate with them at the moment what you may start to notice the more you listen to me whether it's this recording whether it's this podcast or whether it's other podcasts that I do there's thousands of recordings available to listen to something changes within you something changes Because I don't tell you what you should do. I just talk. Sometimes I offer some ideas. Sometimes I will just talk about stuff. I'll talk about possible outcomes. Or I'll talk about relaxation or the feeling when you're lying in bed and your mind is calm and you can actually not just experience the feeling of your body relaxing you can actually Enjoy the feeling. Enjoy that activity, the sensations of your body naturally relaxing. And I've listened to a few relaxation sessions over the years, other than my own. Read books and stuff and that's something that I've noticed doesn't seem to be mentioned I mean I'm not saying it's never been mentioned ever but something that doesn't seem to be focused upon is the enjoyment of feeling relaxed I mean of course there's loads of physical and mental health benefits emotionally to feeling relaxed more relaxed you know so many so many so many but what about actually feeling good feeling happy the pleasure of feeling relaxed in itself is worth the time it takes and it doesn't take much time at all. And the more often you decide that you're going to allow yourself to relax, the easier and the quicker it becomes. And you may wonder why did I, do I use words like give yourself permission or allow yourself to relax now there's a reason for that it's because the only person that can stop you from relaxing would be you the only person that can get in the way of your own pleasure is you in this situation Which means you need to give yourself permission. 
to allow your mind to let go. To calm down, to slow down, to let go of all the thoughts that were there before. Because no matter how important they were before you lay down on your bed, they're not relevant in this moment. The only thing that's relevant in this moment is your safety, your relaxation, your health, your sleep, the things that matter, your breathing, the organs in your body operating. That's it. And those things are always on automatic. Always functioning. So your body is already doing that stuff. You don't need to do anything. In fact, the more you relax, the healthier you become. The more you relax, the healthier you will feel. And the more you relax, the easier you just slip into a nice healing sleep. know that sometimes it may feel easier to fall asleep listening to me, especially if you're used to hearing my voice and maybe you find that as soon as you press the play button and hear my voice, there is a reaction in your body where you automatically start to relax and your mind automatically slows down and you know that you are safe and you know that you are in control. And having that trust, having that safety, knowing that you are the boss and you control how you feel gives you the power to enjoy and to give yourself permission to enjoy feeling relaxed. And you've given that permission just by pressing the play button. You have given your permission to relax deeply to let go of everything and to drift your mind drifts as you gently go in and out of sleep Gently, and the more time you spend in that sleepy feeling 
and then maybe you wake up again and although you still feel sleepy and tired you know you're not asleep but then your mind slides back into that feeling of being asleep and each time you slip back into that feeling of being asleep it lasts longer it lasts longer and you feel as though you're drifting deeper and it still becomes a choice because you're in control Control and choose if you wish to just allow your mind to continue to drift, knowing that you feel so safe and secure as your body heals itself knowing that you can really enjoy the feelings of my voice may seem to drift becomes less important as you as feeling safe say okay.